Hello and welcome distance education faculty. This is a screencast on how to make an anonymous survey. I'm Linda Stefaro, I'm biology faculty and DE coordinator for training at Yuba College. Section A of the OEI rubric covers content presentation, organization, and feedback, and specifically Section A11 addresses feedback from students. So if you were to be aligned with the rubric, your course will give learners the opportunity to give anonymous feedback to the instructor regarding course design and or course content after completion. An exemplary course would supply or provide opportunities to give anonymous feedback both during course delivery and after course completion. You can make a survey using one of the two methods. From the course navigation list, you can choose quizzes or modules. Since the modules structure is a part of course alignment in the OEI rubric, I will show you using this option. So using the modules function, you can see at number one, we would start by selecting modules. Then select the module to which you will add the survey. In Canvas, this uses the tool quiz. Use the plus sign at that module to add the quiz to the module. And then third, add a quiz using the drop down menu. Since this will be a new quiz, you'll select the new quiz option, give the feedback survey a title, and this will add that survey to your assignment page as well as to your module. Once the quiz tool is open, it opens to the editing page. One of the first option is the quiz type. This is a pull down menu and here you can select graded or ungraded surveys. Here side by side are the two menus for graded surveys on the left and ungraded survey on the right. The numbers on the graded survey indicate the things that you would select. So the assignment group, you would identify the place in your assignments that you would put this. Currently this one is listed under quizzes, but you might have it under uh, a separate assignment group that you're creating for just feedback. If you are creating a Scored quiz, this is where you would give it its point value. The options on whether the quiz will have shuffled answers, a time limit, and how many minutes you're going to give to your survey. Since this is a feedback survey, a lot of this part of the uh, options doesn't really make sense. Uh, and then the keep the submissions in, anonymous. You'll want to make sure you select that, whether it's for a graded survey or an ungraded survey. Over on the ungraded side, you can see you have some of the same options. Um, again, you keep the survey anonymous. Then, once you've put in the details of the quiz, you'll want to select the questions option. This will open the question menu. And you can open up the type of question it's going to be. And here you can see the variety of ways and types of questions you can ask in your survey. So from multiple choice to true and false, fill in the blanks, uh, essay questions, numerical answers, all of these are possible options uh, for your survey quiz. This website from Vanderbilt University Center for Teaching is a website that has different strategies for gathering feedback from students. And I collected some of the questions 
from that website to give you as examples that you might use in your feedback quiz. In this set of questions, you can see that the student is given a scale from 1 to 5. You'll want to define the meaning of that scale in the directions for your quiz. So you'll want to make 1 uh, strongly agree, maybe in 5 uh, disagree. And then they can um, use that scale to identify their preference uh, for the different statements that you see there. This could be a multiple choice question or a numerical answer question. These are examples of essay type questions that you could use that help to get to the idea of how your course is designed, what students like about it, what your strengths are in the online environment, what suggestions they might have for improvement, and then how many hours has the student completed in the course. This kind of a question gets to the heart of how active they are in the class. Okay, now that we've gone through the basic steps, let me show you this process in a live screen. Okay, everybody, I'm here in my Biology 10 course, and I'm starting from my home page, and I'm going to select modules. And here I am in modules, and I'm going to add my feedback quiz to my Setup for Success module. This is a module where I have the syllabus, the schedule, um, online strategies, success assignments, um, as you can see. So I've added a student poll here recently, uh, but I'm going to add another one. So remember, you go up to the plus. And we're going to select the quiz tool. So I'm pulling down the menu and I'm going to select the quiz tool. This is going to be a new quiz. So I will call it uh, student feedback, but this will be student feedback two instead. And right now, as far as the assignment group that I'm going to uh, put this in, I think I'll just uh, keep it in my assignments at this point, um, and I'll ultimately I will think I, I will probably produce a uh, assignment group that is called student feedback. So I'm going to add the item, and now it's at the bottom of my module. So there it is there. You just saw it. Now I'm going to select that, and I want to edit, and I want to create an ungraded survey. I don't care about shuffling answers or a time limit, and I want to keep the submissions anonymous. It, there is no correct answer, so I'm going to deselect this option and right now I don't know a time frame that I'll have it available so right now I'm just going to uh, save it okay so now I have my ungraded quiz so now let me edit again but this time I'm going to select the questions and for this one, I'm going to select a question, and I might start with a essay question. Describe what you like about this course. Update the question. Now it's added. Now for, for whatever reasons, it's giving me a point for this. So I'm going to edit and change this to zero. And then update. So now I can add a new question. And I'm going to select multiple choice this time. 
And if you wanted to add a question uh, similar to the ones I showed you about range, right, then uh, we could add a question explains clearly. I'm abbreviating, of course, but this gives us an idea. And then down here, you would put in your one, two, three, four, and five options. Update the question. And now the student will pick from the scale here. And the details of that scale, right, you would want to explain here uh, in the uh, um, description of the quiz. Right? This is a student feed feedback quiz. Please use the scale to determine your answers. And then you would uh, identify which each number in the scale would represent. Then we could save that. And so they would see the description, they would see the ground rules for the quiz, and then they could uh, start the quiz, and in this case we'll preview it, right? And then they would answer those questions. So I hope that helps you to develop your feedback quiz. For section A11 of the OEI rubric, please contact me at lstaffer at yccd.edu. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to help. All right, ta-ta, see you soon.